You know what happens when you watch the movie Jaws backwards? He throws them up. No, it just becomes a heartwarming story about a shark who gives arms and legs to amputees. Fuck off. Just... Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rex, of course. They made a sequel to Jaws. About his great-grandfather when he gets really, 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 Wasn't really old. It's called... No, this is a new one that's coming out. It's, oh. a, it's, it's about the same shark. He doesn't die. He just gets really, 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 really old. And they're calling it Gums. Didn't they actually make a Jaws 2? I'm Rick. Was, they did. It's it, terrible. It was awful, and they made a Jaws 3. I think they made a Jaws 4. Did they? Then they made Sharknado. Today we got a uh, exclusive AD visits the world of Hiramandi. Oh, yay. That's about to, to drop. Biggest set production. Drop it like it's hot. Um, uh, I don't know. We had a pretty big set production on our million celebration. That's true. I don't know that that I don't know that Sanjay Leela can come close to that. I think he gave us an he said they were actually my inspiration for all my future projects. It's true. You're welcome, Sanjay. He saw what we did and he said, My God, how can I be like you? Don't hit me. Here we go. <laughs> Excellence can be pursued. It can never be achieved. Well, no. don't tell it to a chef. And the sets of Sanjay. Now, when it came down to Hira Mandi, it is for the last 18 years I've been living with this idea of making a film on the brothels in Lahore when India was one and India was not divided. And if I had to make a set for Malika Jan or if I had to make an actual kotha for Malika Jan uh, without the, the trappings or the, or, the, or the pressure of a narrative, then it would be something completely different. But when it comes to linked with a film, and when the characters I love a lot, I sit, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Where is she going to be seen? What will the color of the pillar be? What will the architecture be? What will the, what will the carving on the pillar be? Architecture played a very important part. There were very few filmmakers who really actually weave architecture and value it so much. Except Banadia was Khadekardini. It means a piece oh. of your, it's from your, from the deep down those pillars and walls and how you paint them and how you carve them. And, uh, it's very fascinating. And how you, you capture that. You saw art, you saw great furniture being made, you saw great textures. It's all over the years that you've seen and you've researched and things which have made a deep impression on you. I'm a very observant person. I feel it's very important to observe. So all this is research. Research comes from life. You observe so much. And I feel I want to take you into that world. So will that one color take you into that world? Will it make you feel of the dialogue that she is speaking or not speaking and yet you feel a, a connection to that color and her face and what she's saying? So I feel that it, are these big sets um, telling me what Hiramandi was? For me, Hiramandi is a very big idea. I enjoy doing big sets. I like being lost in this big Oh, really? You do? I've always wanted to be lost. This is the biggest set I've made in my life because it's really that like, walls have been pushed way beyond what I thought um, I would ever be able to push uh, as a child, which I thought it was. So I feel I've started enjoying and understanding more and more as my filmmaking have progressed. In. I've started enjoying creating walls at a distance and further and further and further. But I never want to dictate. I feel I've set it. The audience will find what they want to see. A lot of time people have criticized that we have so much to see that the first time we miss the essence of the scene. So I feel that I have started hoping that um, one day I'll make images that will be worthy of being called paintings. It's oh, you do already. Way. You've literally the done The day that. you understand that artist and his art for you will disappear, will evaporate. But life, uh, everything is a painting. And life offers you in innumerable visuals every second, every every microsecond, millisecond of our life. Are you being able to see it? I have started seeing it now. Excellence can be pursued, it can never be achieved. So all these great painters who have left great work could have maybe, if they'd lived on, made done even better and even more and even more. There is so much more that you have to yet achieve uh, because there is somebody always five steps ahead of you. Everything in life is beautiful. How do you define it? It's too vast a word to say. I will define it maybe on the last day of my life, but I don't think 
three, four birds, five birds down that line. You can't define art. Too much of a student to right now say art means to me this and uh, beauty means this to me. Still finding. He is a um, very captivating speaker. Yeah, especially I love his passion. Talking, especially when he's talking about his 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 art. Yeah, and especially like his sets. Yeah, that's something because we watched Padmavat. That had to been first year, first five movies. Yeah, yeah it was early. First ten easily, mm-hmm. but maybe first five. Padmavat was very early on. Yeah, because I think it came out the year before we started the channel. Year or the year, two years before. Yeah. Um, and obviously the first thing that struck us is he he makes paintings. We told, said you could literally mute the movie and just watch it just for the, the pictures that he puts up on the screen. Yeah, and his team, I mean, the totality of, I would love to just listen and sit in at the very first meetings with the production design and when you see the the combination of art direction and the set construction and the the costuming and the lighting <laughs> and the cinematography and how it all is in one accord together it's that's what contributes to the the visuals being so spectacular is this the entire production team is just one being it seems one yeah. mind. Um, Looking forward to the series. <laughs> See what would happen if I just didn't lead the conversation. Um, no, I am too. Uh, is it, is it, May, May 1st. May 1st? Yeah. How many episodes? That I don't know. I'm guessing eight, ten, seven, eight, ten, something like that. Eight. <sighs> I got eight. Is, um, is the Great White Dose in this? Is he? Yeah, he is. Five episodes. Mark, Marky Mark Bennington is in uh, five episodes. Of we need to talk to him. It's about time we talk to Mark. Yeah. I just wish he would come here. I'd rather do it in in person, you know? Yeah. Um, and it'll, it'll really be like a podcast because three white guys just decided to start one. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, and once again, I was wrong. This does not just have a bunch of uh, non-stars in it. <laughs> Did we just see something with one of them? Don't know. Don't know? Yeah, don't know. Thank you for that input. Fucking cunt. Um, I think it was when she was older. I feel like we just... She was in Sanju. I, th- I I thought we had just seen something with one of the one of the stars of it, but yeah, to have Sanjali Bansali do a series is just exciting. It's it, it's like if Wes Anderson decided to do a series, um, different, but he's the closest comparison because of how much he loves framings and exaggerated colors. Yeah, different, very different. Yeah. Um, Sanjay is more grand. Yeah, but equally when you watch, your jaw drops. You yeah. go, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Orgasm on the screen. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let us know if you're excited for this and what should we, uh, we still have a few uh, Sanjay Lubinsali films to get to. Yeah. Um, so what should be our next ones that we should watch? Please let us know down below. Josh! 